Hi, it's Steve. Today we'd like to show you how to change the ice maker on your refrigerator. On this style of refrigerator, the ice maker is actually mounted in the door. It's a really easy job to change. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we're going to begin by opening up the left hand door. And then we'll open up that access to the ice maker. And the first thing we'll do is lift out the ice bin. So we're simply going to lift up, pull out, and then we'll set that aside. Now our next step will be to remove some screws that secure that whole assembly to the liner. There are two across the bottom, one right in the center, and we'll also need to loosen one right at the very top. Now with the ice bin out of the way, we're going to remove these two bottom screws. in the center. There's another one right at the very top that has a big plastic washer on it so we can just loosen that one. Now with the screws removed and the one at the top loosened, we're next going to lift up on the whole assembly. Let's make sure that we lift up and out on the bottom of this and also press up on the top. Once it's free at the bottom you'll be able to tilt it down just slightly. So once we've lowered that down enough we're simply going to depress this locking tab enough that we can release that wire harness but you need to support that whole assembly so that it doesn't drop out. Disconnect the harness and then we'll take that on the suitable work surface and we'll change it with the ice maker. Now with the whole assembly set on the workbench, we're next going to remove the ice maker from this back plate and auger motor assembly. It's held in place with three screws, two along the bottom here, and there was a third one up in behind here. Now there's two screws side by side. There's the one on the right hand side that we're going to remove, which has a larger head on it. Now while holding those two items together, we'll also need to disconnect a, another wire harness on the back. It'll be this smaller harness. Again, there is a locking tab. So if you press the locking tab, and then separate the two halves of that harness. maker out of the way and discard it. Now our next step would be to place the new one onto this assembly. Make sure that we tuck the harness in behind and we'll line up those two screws on the sides plus the one in up by the ice maker itself. So position it carefully and then as well you do need to install that one at the back end of that ice maker. Now this one is a little trickier so unless you have a magnetic screwdriver you want to hold it in an upright position until you center it in position and then tighten it down. Now with the ice maker mounted to that assembly, we're next going to flip it over. We'll reconnect the smaller of the two harnesses. Now with our harnesses connected, our next step is going to be to position this connector properly in this housing. And we found that if we put the release tab face down, which puts the that side of the harness facing up. We're going to tuck the excess wire down into this opening. I suggest just taking a piece of 
electrical tape or duct tape. Just tape across that. That will help secure it in place when we go to reinstall. This harness will end up roughly in this position, so there will be a little bit of strain on that. So if we can secure it in place as best as possible. Now we're ready to put the assembly back in the refrigerator. Now before we install that ice maker back in the refrigerator, there's a couple things that we want to take note of. The fill tube that is located at the top right hand corner here has to fit inside of that little opening so that the tube sits in the fill cup. Now as well you'll note this crescent shaped opening at the top and the center which will fit behind the shoulder screw. So make sure that the screw is loose enough for it to tuck up in behind. So we'll install the top end in first, making sure that those two components line up properly, and then we'll push the bottom in. So we'll hold it up into position, and then we're first going to connect that wire harness. So we'll get it as close as possible, so that we don't put any strain on that harness. We'll line it up. Make sure it's fully inserted into the connector, and if need be, your screwdriver just push in on either end and make sure that the locking tab in the center engages. Now we'll keep the top press back against the back end of that. We'll make sure that we go in underneath that fill tube with the fill cup. Once we have that top tucked in place, we'll snap the bottom in and then we can reinstall the screws. And then we can tighten that one at the very top. Next, we can put the ice bin back in. And just lift up, push straight back. Remember to turn the ice maker on. Close it up. Watch it. And our repair is complete.